Do you ever need to find out the hex code of a particular colour? Then you need a colour palette generator. I should start by saying that a hex code is a six digit alphanumeric code that gives you an easy way to specify a colour online. Using the hex code, which always starts with a hash or pound sign if you're in the USA, you'll get an exact match every time. But if you don't know the hex code of the colour you want, or you want to pick out a specific colour in an image because you want to use it in the text or to match it somewhere else, then you need to use a colour palette generator. That will give you the hex code. And I've just discovered a colour palette generator from Canva. I think it's been around for some time, but I've only just discovered it as the previous one doesn't seem to work anymore. I was doing a search online on Google and discovered the Canva option, which is great since I do so much in Canva anyway. I thought the best way to demo this was to use an example of something I'm currently working on. I'm going to go to my design screen in Canva, and here you can see what we've done in the November one. This is the October social media quotes. It's a copy of a sidebar that I've already made. And I'm now just going to click on that so it goes into the design screen. And I'm going to start to edit it. This is my cheats way of doing things. Rather than starting a game from scratch, just copy and paste and change it. The first thing I'm going to do is change the month, because it's going to be for November. And I want to keep the sidebar, and actually I use this for Pinterest as well, as it's a good size and shape for Pinterest. I'm going to use that, change that to November. I now will need to upload the November image. Actually, I have done this already. So I can just get rid of this one and I'll insert this one. So I just drag this over. I could have just clicked. I'm going to make it a little larger so it fills the sidebar a bit better. And then because I have no eye for these things at all, as you can see, I've now used the grid lines on Canva, which are fantastic to actually just line that up. But my images for November, you have a blue background. So I want to match the other sidebar that Sammy has already done for me for November for the social media planner so that they look the same rather than having two contrasting colours. I'm going to go back to the colour palette generator and I will include this URL in the post when I actually post the video. And I'm going to upload an image. But first of all, I'm going to try with, our, with uh, one of Canva's demo images. I'm just going to click on this so you can do this to experiment. And it will load an image. And as you scroll down, it gives you the exact colours. You've got this pale golden rod, um, the Indian red. Oh, yes, it was the ladybird. Picked out five main of the main colours from the image. And it only gives you five, but that should give you exactly what you need to be able to match something to it, whether you're trying to add a background or whatever you're trying to do. Over here it says upload another image, which I'm going to go to, and I'm going to upload my other sidebar. As you can see, this other November sidebar has got a blue background, and that's the colour that I want. This is called light sea green. I'm not sure I'd ever would have called this light sea green, because to me it looks very blue, but that's what they called it, but it's the colour I want, so I'm just going to Hit copy. It's now been copied. I'm going to go back to my sidebar. I'm going to click the outline of that. And you can see the color bars come up that matches the color that's in the background already. So if I click on this, go to plus, and then all I have to do is copy, oops, is copy this. So it's very easy to do. But as you can see, I do make mistakes. But I'm just going to rename this so I know I've got the Correct description, I take the copy out, rename it to November, and it's so easy to do, as you can see. It is the quickest way I found for finding the colour that you want. And the good thing about the Canva colour palette generator is it actually lets you copy the colours really easily. Whereas the ones I used previously didn't let you copy it, and so you just, you just have to remember it or write it down. But this is really straightforward, very simple. And that's all there is to it. I'm just going to download that, and then I can put my sidebars on my website. I hope you found that useful. Um, if there are anything else, hints and tips I can give you on Canva, do let me know and I'll put together some short videos to help. Bye.